So Mighty can switch over to tank if I need to. Quickly, P, smash the crystal. Leave it to P. She's in right. the Leave it to P. Yep. <laughs> it's her catchphrase. Sanctify. Some people will say, leave it to me, but she says, leave it to Pete. <laughs> no. Oh, I feel dreadfully uh, beaten up with all these bruises. Mm, goodness, we feel as if we have woken up from a very long dream, or perhaps a very short one. How confusing. A dream, but so some manner of terrifying bovine monstrosity we are not amused. Yes. Yes, you... What? Yes, you are a moo. Yes, you are a moo. Oh, that's P saying that, but still, what the fuck? Yes, you are a moo. I mean, a cow. Cows go moo. Huh. My, what a dear, sweet little thing you are. And where did you spring from, exactly? Queen Lola. Oh, that's really her name? Lola? Okay. Queen Lola, are you hurt? Oh my, oh my, 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 the, that exquisite face, the sparkling eyes. Oh yeah, she had the hearts from creepy. The great sage of Hamlin, in the flesh, oh no less. Young man, your picture does not do you justice. You are a vision, an absolute vision. Oh yeah, she had a, that picture of him, ain't it? Now there's, <laughs> there's creepy. Majesty, you're not injured, I hope. Ah, him, yes. We are quite the picture of health, thank you very much, Abu. You you would do better not you would do better to worry about the state of our be beloved city. Away with you! Bring us news of our people at once uh, Yes, your Mujusi, bitch. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Your wish uh, will be fulfilled with all urgency. Damn she's one crazy bitch. Anyways. Uh we should get back to the Iron Waven, Oliver. I'm not going to spring one sentence, because I'm the pure-hearted one, yeah. Here we go, another one. There's this one came left to save now, ain't it? I still can't, I still can't get over P's magic, though. A proper little wizardling powerhouse she is. Hehe, <laughs> proper. Yes, her magic can only be described as miraculous. The spell sanctify. It is missing from... It is missing from the pages of the wizard's companion. Oh? What What about the flower? Did... We thought it, if we found another one of those crystals, we might find another flower, didn't we? Well, yeah, she's fucking holding it. Use your eyes. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I had a quick roundabout while you were fighting away, and I couldn't find nothing, man. Look at the scene! <laughs> She's right there in the foreground, and you're looking in her direction. She is holding one. There was a flower! Look! It's here! God! Really? Startling! <laughs> eh? Where the flip did you find that? Right now! <laughs> or actually, I had it the whole freaking time floating in my hands. You didn't see it? Oh, whoops. I skipped it. <laughs> That would make sense. They seem to be linked to her past somehow. I wonder if there is one. If there is one, will if this one will teach us a bit more about her. I guess it might, huh? I'm kind of nervous about what we might find out. Sapi, could you show us? Of course I can. Here. I said, show us, not fucking blind our retinas. Great, all I see is white. You blinded me permanently. Oh. Apus, at least I have you to talk to. What the council are doing. Squack! Cracker, cracker. Can't be right. Earlier on, I overheard the captain of the guards. He said the kingdom was in a parlous state. He spoke of people too poor to buy bread and of the starving dying in the streets. Yet, the council assure me all is well. Just who is telling the truth? Nobody. Tell me, Apus. This is most troubling. The Queen persists in her wish to involve herself in the affairs of state. 
Should this continue, she may realize that it is we who now rule the kingdom and alert the populace. <laughs> Surely it would do little harm to allow her to sit on the council. Provided that we keep the more sensitive matters from her <laughs> Yes, and ensure that she is made publicly responsible for all of the council's decisions. It's a good thing we sprung for those glowing red demon eye item. lenses. We shall keep our kingdom while she takes all the blame. Genius! <laughs> Genius plan. Is that it? So we learned that the council are douchebags. Oh. Father, I know you will be proud of me. Today, the council gave me their approval. I am to be involved in the affairs of state. Now I can work for the best interests of my subjects. I have taken a long, hard look at myself. And I have decided to put my subjects first and do all I can to rid the world of war and famine. Father, I have learned of the existence of an ancient spell with the power to end all suffering. Sanctify! I shall do you proud. I vow that I will master that spell and save my subjects and kingdom from despair. Soon, Father. Soon, I shall bring the light of hope into the lives of my people. Good, good. She is falling for it. Huh? What was that, P? But she was all grown up, man. So, it wasn't her. Come on, look at her. She's going to look exactly like that girl that we just saw when, she, when she's that age. So I think we just saw a scene from P's future? If that was the case, her kingdom would still exist somewhere. Hmm, I wonder where it could be. I thought we might finally learn the truth about P's identity, but it seems like it seems the mystery has only grown deeper. Well, I know one thing. I'm not a fan of that council of the twelfth bit of the twelfth bunch. I trust them about as far as I could kick them. They're definitely plotting something. Yes! Poor P. Well, standing around here gas bagging ain't gonna get us anywhere, is it? There's probably a f more flowers about <coughs> out there to get there to get get out there and find them, whatever. <laughs> whatever. That's not part of it. Fuck you. Anyways. You're right, P. You'll you'll tell us <coughs> you'll tell us if you find another flower, won't you? Yes, I will fly, find you another one. Then we must then we must head for the last of the three kingdoms. The battle is not won yet. Flower of Faith. Last but not least, my kingdom, which I am helping you guys try and save by abandoning it. Hey, it's better than him becoming a friggin' evil uh, zombie monster boss. I have a feeling we're gonna fight a boss again. It's just not a mutated king or sage in his case. Two have face limbs. To do the final sanctifier. Oh yeah, final fucking sanctifier. There's a weird haze other than that. That the. Uh, that poison toxin that's always around the city. What is that, anyways? What? I can't teleport there? Please. I have to go all the way through. City full of zombies. Well, at least they're slow. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh huh. Shit, I ain't getting through this bunch. Well, oh, ambush. <laughs> well, I guess it's no surprise attack. Even though it been. Surprise! Oh shit, we can't surprise zombies! They always know we're here. Oh, here we have light, but not light spells, it's just beautiful. 
highly beat the shit out of them. I want to be a sledgehammer. Poor oh, zombie citizens, we will end your suffering by killing you! How come they turn into weird horse faced demons? How does this ash work? Transmutes you into some kind of weird fish creatures and horse face creatures? Why does it do that to the Grimalkins? Well, I know there's none in the city, but in Ding Dong Bell there was, and they're all turned into fishes. These same type of zombie swarms. Huh. I'm reading too deep into it, aren't I? <laughs> Oh no, that used to be the dog! He became some weird humanoid zombie monster creature! Poor dog! So if we fix that way, become a human? I'm a real boy! Probably so salesman. Hmm. Madcap mathematician? Am I reading that? What the fuck? Lantern Maker. <laughs> Old fashioned zombie beat cam. <laughs> Bam. And I will be the one laughing me! The victor! I like how Oliver's eyes are closed right when I stop the scene there. <laughs> Pardon me. How come we don't see zombies in Hamlet armor? That'd be just too hard to do. Look, they just turn into grunts. Good zombie grunts. Great. I'm have to slip past those two assholes. I'm gonna do a pizza on the slide! Aw, oh, fuck, I can't do a pizza on the slide. Why? Ooh, hey, what the fuck? It's Frankenstein! We can do this! Man. Get out of them! Mm. Hit him! Do something! Just oh, these purpley cat pit bitch the shit out of them. Oh. There's no way I'm getting beaten up by a purple pussy. <laughs> uh, oh, you didn't need either. Beat the shit! Mm. We did it! I realize that thing has a tag on its ear or something. That's weird. What the fuck? It's a diamond earring. Is this area gonna be full of zombie guardsmen? I heard a reaction sound. Oh shit. I get you! That's just sort of random. Zombie dodging tactics! This is where we fought that Porco Grosso. Look, there it is. Oh, so we're back here again. Stop your whinging, man. I mean, it could be worse. Huh? Hmm? Oh! Like deja vu. That tank. That's the very latest weapon in Hamlin's arsenal. You're telling me machines are turning into monsters now? I cannot say. No, they're turning oh. into bosses. Porco Loco. Just the Heedley, he did it again in the same game. Why? Why? 